How's it going guys? Snow Mexican here with another YouTube video. Today I am reviewing the More Ride RV wall mount system. Now the nice feature with this system is the lockable and unlockable uh, swivel hinge that they include here. Uh, they even put it on a nice cord pull pin and uh, so if it's in a hard to reach area it will uh, be easier to access. The wall mount will tilt backwards and forwards to give you better viewing angle if you're uh, a little higher up or sitting down on the ground depending on where this TV gets mounted. So after pulling the pin out the wall mount actually hinges in three spots. This one just showing basically um, a 90 degree angle. If you pull it out again, and it will also, the base of the TV, where it gets mounted to, will hinge as well. So depending on where you are sitting in the trailer or where it needs to be projected you have a lot of option in placing the TV where your viewing desires may be now the actual construction of this is actually pretty good um, there's very little movement in any of the hinges. It's nice and tight. There was no bad finish on this at all when I got it. The only negative thing that I can really say about this product is the bolts that came with it for mounting uh, this setup was not sealed so all the bolts and hardware were in the box scattered about you don't really like to see this when buying something brand new you get a brand new product and you're missing half the bolts and now you're trying to figure out what goes where what bolts do you need it would have been nice if they would have sealed that package up but it is what it is so this product I actually purchased off Amazon. I was looking for something that I was able to lock into place when I'm driving down the road and not something that I can hinge right off the wall, something that's not fixed in a certain spot because I may be setting up seating in different sections of this trailer. Um, this is just a cargo trailer, it's a car hauler. Um, so we're actually stripping it down and we are putting in 110 30 amp circuit and hopefully tomorrow we'll be insulating this trailer. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.